Carly, you've been in all weekend yeah. tracking Elsa. Uh, could it kick back into hurricane status? You know, it's always an option to do so. So that's always a good question, too. Will it become a hurricane again? Yes, it could eventually or potentially if it moves its way further into the Gulf and regains that strength. So far, it's not too far off from 74 mile per hour uh, winds there, which would make it a cat one. So we'll keep tracking that, but looks like it's going to stay a tropical storm. Let's talk our temperatures, though. Over the weekend, we saw similar temperatures in the low 90s, and that's average this time of year. 92 is actually the average in Sacramento, so we're slightly below that. 97 in Marysville yesterday, low 90s even in Placerville. It was nice getting that cool delta breeze, and the high pressure system just to the east of us had continued to shift its way toward the east. But this morning, we're looking at a bit of a marine layer that's going to hover around San Francisco and also bring in some cooler airs through the Delta and we'll continue to feel some of that breeze this afternoon. We're already getting it this morning. Warm and dry conditions. That's not just going to start and continue today and through the week. It's going to continue pretty much all summer, but at least we're not dealing with triple digits just yet. We're going to see triple digit heat returning though closer to the weekend. It's going to start up Thursday, but really uh, bump up a few notches as we start moving from Saturday to Sunday. So here's what happened over the weekend. This high pressure system was really closer to Nevada, and it was circulating here quite a bit of moisture into our area of the Sierra. And when it was doing that, it was bringing in thunderstorm chances, which led to a red flag warning. Now it's shifting east, and what we can expect with this is it's going to start to bring a lot of that moisture along with it, pushing it away, but it's also going to start building as we move from Wednesday to Thursday pushing a massive jet stream ridge all the way up toward Canada, which is going to increase our temperatures over northern California into those triple digits. So we can expect that to start up from Wednesday to Thursday. So here's our current jet stream. You can see just a bit of those clouds and even some moisture offshore that will bring us possibly even some stratus clouds into our area this morning, but that's expected to leave as well. Here's that jet stream starting to shift its way north as we move through the weekend here, and you can expect most of uh, the Pacific Northwest to remain at least moderate temperatures, so they're not going to be dealing with that high pressure ridge like we will because we know they were dealing with crazy temperatures in Pacific Northwest just a week ago, so it's pretty much staying in Northern California for the most part. It's going to be breezy today. Uh, winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. They slow down a tiny bit through the morning hours Tuesday, but really around 10 mile per hour winds. As we look at the lower foothills today, mid to low 90s, the high Sierra is going to see temperatures today right around those mid 80s. And then we're going to see low 90s as we move into Friday. Bay Area looking at upper 60s, even mid 60s in San Francisco. Let's take a look here at our 10 day forecast. We will see those temperatures in the mid 60s for the next three days with about 103 Thursday. And check out the weekend, 100 and seven degrees Saturday and Sunday. Definitely going to be hot. Let's